Hello everybody, I posted a, or I took a video right before my phone took a poop, I didn't get to post it, so it was probably kind of ranting anyways, so I shouldn't have posted it, so it's probably a good thing. Oh, look at this face, it looks like a pregnant face. So, there's been some things going on in our families that kind of make Papa and me nervous that maybe Salem won't get to meet some of our family. So it's kind of nerve wracking, kind of sad, but I mean, he's doing 30 days, within 30 days, so I don't know. Kind of sad. Today was my last baby shower, which was nice because um, I handed out a hundred invitations, well, sixty invitations, and then I invited like fifty more people. But so twenty-five of my invitations, so nearly half my invitations, were to those of Buffalo Wild Wings. And, um, all my friends there. And not one person came. Zero out of 25 to 35. That's horrible. Which makes me think, like, I'm not really, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I should probably just kind of separate myself from there. Because I thought, you know, I was a valued employee, but maybe because I'm not cocktail queeny enough or moody enough or, you know, decide to yell at employees when I don't like what section they're in or whatever. And maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm not a good employee as I thought I was. That's cool. I mean, whatever. I don't need to work there, but I just didn't think it was like that. So, well, I got some gifts from Kim in the kitchen, which was really nice. And then I sent an invitation to my old manager, Virginia, which was really nice. And she sent me a book, but like, none of the managers, none of Anybody else kind of, I don't know, they just kind of brushed my baby shower and stuff to the side. But they're always rubbing my belly and telling me how cute I am, but I don't know. I'm just kind of bummed. I was pretty bummed about that. It's okay. Matter of fact, out of all my jobs, the baby shower, like the official one that my mom and two friends threw, Hardly anybody from any of my jobs showed up. And I have four jobs. And only friends showed up. I had a girl show up from Adult and Child Development Center. So one person out of the ten people I invited then. And, yeah. So, and just, it, honestly, like, I had a bunch of friends. Like, some even acquaintances. People I barely met that I had clicked with that came which was nice. But my friends that I thought were my friends, I guess they had better things to do, even though they asked for invitations, wanted invitations, and told me they were going to be there. That's okay. So, I got a lot of cool things from this baby shower, my last and final baby shower. I got, like, crocheted blankets, crocheted booties. I even got a 3D quilt. With 3D fabric. That's crazy. So, yeah. So, despite my sadness that I thought I had more friends than I do, um, and being sad about um, health problems on both families of Salem, um, I want to thank everybody for all those who have 
shown love and support and have given many awesome grateful gifts or uh, gifts to Salem. We are super grateful. And this kid just won't stop moving. He is like a crazy ninja warrior moshing punk rocker. He's crazy. He just moves all the time and it's starting to hurt really, really, really bad. And I don't know if you can see it. It's happening all the time. And uh, it's like cramps, like contractions. But it's not contractions because it's when he's moving. So it's like pain because he's so big now. So <laughs> I just get home from work and I, and I just, it, like it hurts right now. Like what is he doing in there? I don't even know. And so I just kind of sit here and just get up, do some stuff, and then it hurts. And then I sit down because he's just crazy. I went to Walmart to pick up this. Oh, this super amazing stroller combo. Um, car seat combo that my mom got for me and my dad. And uh, super amazing that Dev put together for me. Um, I, I went to go get it. And the thing is like five feet tall. It's taller than me. And... I went to, the guy handed it to me, and I said, can you put it in my cart? And he, like, flabbergasted. Like, your cart? Yes, that's why I brought this cart, because I knew it would be big. And it doesn't fit in there, and it's sticking, so it's, it's like 10 feet tall, sticking out of the top of the cart. And I'm trying to navigate it out of the store. I bought two other items, and, like, like they didn't get bagged. So, I'm just carrying around a cart full of items with receipts. And I got some other things. So I got three different receipts. Because I went to three different departments. And they made me check out at each one. Which is fine. Took my whole lunch break. To get a key cut. Buy two things. And pick up this item that was shipped to the store. So. I I, I navigate through the store. Get out. No one even questions me. It looks like I'm stealing a bunch of stuff. Put the cart in the. Outside in the cart holder. What not. And nobody, like, okay, so I try to get out of the cart because I'm like, I know if I try to get this thing off the cart, the cart's going to push off and it's going to hit some car or something. Just my luck. So I put the cart in the cart store outside and then I take the box off and it's so tall and so big that I just have to let it fall gently to the ground. And then I am just basically like over, you know, like. It's not a circle, so I'm like square and over square side, you know, side over side to my car. And then when it's on the snow, I'm pushing it over the snow patches and trying to figure out how to fit this huge thing in my car. Trying to fit it in the back seat, putting down the seats, trying to put... I'm out there for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm not joking. Cars on either side of me, pulling out. Like, I, I, I do not look like I'm just fat, Okay. I clearly look pregnant. I have been lucky in this pregnancy to only gain weight in my belly and swollen legs and feet and nose and chin. But regardless, and this nice handicapped girl, which she's not handicapped, but mentally disabled girl, which I will not mention, and her abled boyfriend, who she's not told she has mental disabilities too, which is none of my business, but comes and helps me and I'm like, oh, so and so, thank you for helping me. She's like, who are you? And I reminded her. She's like, oh, this person doesn't know about where you work. And I'm like, I'm not going to tell your boyfriend. But he put it in my car. This nice little disabled girl and her boyfriend put this in my car. Thank you. Thank you. I was, I almost called Deb crying like, will you come help me? No one's helping me. Why wouldn't the person, like, if you had an old lady or something like that, like, wouldn't you offer help to them? So I didn't ask for help because I figured they must be so busy that they couldn't offer the help. And I didn't go... I should have went back in and asked for help, but... It was already... I'd have to pick the item up and put it back into the cart. And I was just overwhelmed and upset. Like, oh, why can't someone be a good Samaritan and help me? It was terrible. Like I took that that one that took like more than my lunch break. I'm gonna get an hour. I was at the store. I got four items and it took over an hour. It was awful. And people be in Walmart cutting you off. Like they're not being rude, like giving you mean looks. That's just the way they are. They're just like when I see people cutting me off, like from side streets to 
to, when I'm going straight, and they're coming in from a side street, I look behind me to see if there's any cars. Always. I always look behind me to see. Who's behind me? Nobody. Nobody. These people, and a lot of people, do not look at the bigger picture in life. They only see, like, the immediate. If that, they would have seen that there was no cars behind me, they probably would have just waited for me to pass. But no, these people, they just don't. They're all just out for themselves. And and me being moody and pregnant, I'm out for myself, and it's sad. I've noticed. I'm just as much as a Scrooge as anybody else. Everybody keeps saying, get that baby out of you, get that baby out of you. <laughs> I can't wait for Deb to move in. So that he can experience all this weird craziness. And I won't be so bored. I'm so bored in my house alone putting stuff away. And cleaning and getting ready for baby. And getting my water heater fixed for my or for the company I rent through. And they, this is what makes me mad. My water, my showers have been super cold. And I contacted them three times by phone and two times by email. And finally, after the last email, they said, <coughs> Oh, we just got your email. We'll put in a work order today. So then they said to the, Oh, he's in, he's right across the stage from my north house. We're just going to put him over there. So they put him over here. And the contractor gives this huge laundry list of complaints about my house. Like, my lizard cages are so stinky and my house is in such turmoil that it's going to breed rats and and there was boxes and foam by my water heater which I have never been in that room. I actually put a shower curtain and curtains over it so that people wouldn't even see that room and that I have food all over my house. I have a bag of cinnamon on my counter that the, the bag was not sealed shut and the stoppers that they gave me for my sink don't actually stop up the water because my dishes have been piling up because my water has been cold. So my dishes have been piling up. So this is what I've always done is I cut a piece of plastic bag and I put it under the stopper. That way it creates a seal and it doesn't go down the drain. You know, like it doesn't, the water doesn't go down the drain. Well, they had to test the hot water to see if the one that, because the pilot was apparently out. And uh, so I went to... um. But they said they went to turn on the water and there was a bag sucked down my pipe and they just managed to, they managed to get it out somehow. Because it wasn't sucked down the pipe, it was underneath my stopper. Have you guys never done this before? People are like, oh, that's a smart idea. Um, it's just common sense. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. But how, like, and they're lecturing me about how that's, you can't have a plastic bag. And I got all defensive. So I I did admit to the lizard because they sometimes do smell because, you know, once, just like any animal, those lizards, once they take a poo, ooh, you gotta watch out. They stink. So, <laughs> so I came home, was fully expecting my house to stink, but I defended all my other things. I'm like, my house is not cluttery. I'm unpacking. I'm having baby showers left and right. I have Christmas presents coming in. I'm rearranging my room. Things are happening like, it's not, it's cluttery because I'm reorganizing everything and stuff is coming in. And I do have to put a lot of boxes in recycling, but I'm getting so many every day from Amazon or from the baby shower stuff that it's just, it, it is, those are piling up. But it's not causing rats. The day they gave me my house keys, the day they gave me my house keys, they said, oh, by the way, we didn't, we didn't tell you this. Your landlord lives next door. Great. Awesome. I would have loved to know that beforehand. And um, you have a mouse problem now. We set up all the traps over the week, but we think we got them all. And you have a mouse problem now. So I replied back and saying, I'm waiting for, you know, my help this weekend to help me lift the water from the lizard cages because it's kind of heavy. And I am. I'm sorry about that. But um, I still have the... Like, we'll provide you mouse traps if you need them. I'm like, I still have the empty and loaded mouse traps you gave me when I got the keys and you told me I had a rat problem suddenly or a mouse problem which I've never seen or heard or had one at all um and I was defensive <laughs> I think it's so dumb like 
it's my house. Like, who's this contractor causing problems? I'm sorry you had to come and fix my water heater. There was, I don't even know. They said they had, they moved the boxes. I can't even find these boxes they're talking about. I looked downstairs by the water heater. I don't see any foam or boxes that they're talking about. So, to the contractor that turned on my pilot light, F you, because you're a jerk. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got all my Christmas shopping done like two weeks ago. I'm only trying to figure out a present to buy for one person. Oh, and I still have to order my other presents for my parents and stuff. Oh, I better hurry up. I gotta get some money. I still gotta pay rent. Hmm. Anyways, oh, I still gotta get pictures for Salem's room. Ugh. Anyways. So, yeah, that's all for now. Only a 16 minute video rant. Good.